a regular thing this uh, me and cheesecake on the channel isn't it <laughs> what's up guys Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV today we have a Q&A so I'm gonna jump right into it so I'm trying to drag it out for the watch time I'm not about that life so if you have paid attention to my Instagram recently I posted the picture of the new leg extension hamstring curl machine and asked for your guys questions they're coming in thick and fast and so question one is from the girlfriend herself, Charlotte. Why have you got such smelly feet? I didn't even have an answer for that. Okay, everybody, so we have arrived at work. Um, I'm ready for a, a hard day's graft ahead of me on a Saturday afternoon. Um, I hope you're all doing good. Drop the video a like if you're enjoying it so far. It would mean a lot. Help us grow and together we will grow, right? With that said, we will get into question two. Would you rather have balls for eyes or eyes as balls? I'm beginning to think this Q&A thing was a bad idea. I mean, I guess I would say eyes as... Wait, are you saying that I have to have one or the other or two of the same? Because I would rather have eyes as balls because then I can still see... What am I even doing? What is <laughs> How are you liking the new machine? Okay, that's because I put a picture up of me with the new leg extension hamstring curl. The new machine is sick. To be honest, I've not really used it properly. I've trained at work a couple of times. And um, yeah, training's been a bit hit and miss. And so I've only used it like probably two or three times. Not even properly, really. So the machine is amazing. Joe, you'll have to come down and try it at some point. Joe has a home gym of his own, so we kind of, you know, we, we bond over that, don't we, Joe? I want to see you in the comment section, mate. Uh, thank you for tuning in, and thank you for your questions. Right then, everybody, uh, that is all I have time for right now. I have to go off to work, and uh, wait right there. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll answer some more questions. Hang on. Hello, doggies. Hello. <laughs> Hey Jesse, Jesse, here's yours. Yeah, go, go, go. Okay, so thought I would just nip home to see the doggos and uh, decided I probably shouldn't, but I decided that I want KFC. So I'm gonna go and get KFC. Because it's a Saturday night, I've just got home from my shift. I'm in again in a mere eight hours time when I have to leave for my next shift. Charlotte's not here, and so quite frankly, I'm feeling a little bit sorry for myself, and I want a KFC. Don't worry, it's zero calorie. Next question, how have you not had a heart attack from all that monster energy, bro? Well, thing is, mate, to be honest, I don't drink as much as it seems. I mean, I put every single one either in a YouTube video or my Instagram story or something so everybody sees pretty much every single one that I have. I have one most days but I mean in terms of my caffeine intake it's really not that bad. I don't drink coffee, I don't drink uh, tea, literally the only caffeine source that I have is from pre-workout or monsters and so I always do a kind of uh, the way I balance it is if I've already had pre-workout I don't have a monster and then vice versa if I've already had a monster that day then I won't take pre-workout um sometimes I do if I really really need it and it's like a heavy leg day or something like that but then and only then will I have more than that which actually works out to a lot less like around about half the amount of daily sort of maximum caffeine intake so in terms of me actually having a heart attack from it I don't drink as many as it seems but you know I completely I completely 
completely understand um, how it could come off that way purely because um, I drink a lot of them. I probably have one most days. Whoa! I probably have one most days, to be honest. Um, and yeah, like I say, I just document every single one that I have, which is a bit weird when you think about it. And I get a few comments from people at work saying, oh, stop opening your monster cans. No, I am who I am. I do what I do. And this is what I love to do. Let's go get some KFC, man. Cause I can see it's written on your face. You want me there to take me to that place. <laughs> Yeah, mate. Um, can I get a mighty bucket for one, please? Can I pay by car? Yes, this is one. Two and a half. Nice one, thank you, mate. Have a good one, mate. Cheers. Well, well, well. KFC Melton Mowbray. That has to be the fastest service I've ever had. Gets a lot of stick from everyone in Melton, um, myself included, really, for being like the slowest. KFC you have ever been to in your entire life. He literally said to me though, it'll be about two and a half minutes, mate. I was like, yes, 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 yes. I even asked if I could have an extra original piece instead of a bonus piece. He was like, oh, I'm not supposed to, but yeah, why not? I was like, yes, mate. Next question. What does your diet look like on a daily? Um... My story, man, no one could write it. Now I see a million, I don't get excited. I might just buy some, I might just thug away. Ain't no good sense to me. Think about Brandon Mr. Jamie, just hit me on the G-Shake, that's what I see, bro. Yeah, it's Charlie Sloth. So I've watched four fights now, I think. I don't know who it is, but it's been really good. I didn't mean to watch them. I got up at three thinking that the Conor McGregor fight would start at three when the pay-per-view started at three. I have to leave the house in two hours. But as you guys probably guessed, the reason that we are awake at this ungodly hour is because of the McGregor fight. My Predictions, which is the next question. I'm having to talk quietly, obviously, because it's 5 a.m. My predictions are that Khabib is going to win today and McGregor is going to win on a rematch. I would like McGregor to win because I'm a kind of like, I'm a McGregor fan. He's entertaining, just kind of brought the sport into the mainstream. And I think they would both get decent payout if they had a rematch but then again i said the same thing for the ksi and logan paul fight not that that's the same thing i would like mcgregor to win but i can see khabib taking it this time but i don't know let's see <laughs> A few moments later. Oh my god! What the fuck? The thing is though, Connor can't exactly say, oh, I don't need to be throwing punches left, right, and said that no, mate, you just throw trolleys at people. <laughs> I cannot even comprehend what has just happened. Look, Khabib has just ended his career as far as I'm concerned. Well, I mean, oh, 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 I was right about Khabib winning. But I don't think there's going to be a rematch anytime soon. I, for one, am very, very excited to um, to see how that pans out. But going back to the diet question, right? Okay, so uh, there is a proper answer for it. Don't worry. I mean, uh, to be honest, I eat a lot of chicken. I eat a lot of tuna. Maybe I like steak, so I have that whenever I can, but it's a little bit more expensive. Get a uh, double sausage leg muffin, please. Rice and pasta, I kind of stick to my staples. If I have potatoes, it tends to be sweet potatoes. Two hash browns with that, please, like two extra. Um, and then lots of veggies. We'll oh. be back. Uh, I will come crawling back. Hey. It's quarter past. I'm trying to enjoy my food. What? Dogs, shush, shush, it's early. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry, did you want McDonald's?
Oh, oh, oh. Busy, busy day for me. McGregor fight. Liverpool, Man City. Focus. Hello? You see me? Oh my God, what, what is going on? Come on, this camera's expensive. Got it. Right, right, right. Here's kickoff. Here's kickoff. In three, two. Oh my God, focus. Come on, Liverpool. Oh, now that is just the best sight in the world right now. This, ladies and gentlemen, is an Uncle Dave's, the Melton Mowbray Ice Cream Man's special Bart's Double Trouble. This is my childhood. I need to chill out, man. I feel like all I've been doing is shouting for the last five minutes. Anyway, this is right cheering me up because Liverpool are playing crap. Mm. And pretty much, I spent my childhood mm, eating these every single day of summer for one pound. It's one pound twenty now because, you know, inflation, but. One pound is my whole childhood. Usual 99, but then instead of a flake, you get a freaking rocket lolly. Beat that, everybody. Ah. Oh. Anyway, right. That is going to be it for today's video, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please do me a massive favor and drop a big, massive, humongous like and a comment down below if you have enjoyed it. It helps the channel grow. It helps us reach more people. And, you know, just nice to feel a little bit of love, you know? I hope you guys do not read too much into the title of today's video. Obviously, it's a joke because that is not what my diet looks like on a daily, but it's just what I, what I was actually eating on the day of filming, but um, made it look pretty bad. I thought I may as well make a joke of it. I was actually going to call this video how much it's going to cost to make my home gym because I got a really good question, um, which obviously is how much did it cost, but I decided that it kind of deserves its own individual video rather than me just spending 30 seconds answering a question. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. I hope you've enjoyed today's Q and A. Stay tuned for the next one, and maybe your question will get answered in that one. Thank you so much to everyone that got involved. Thank you so much for everyone watching today. Drop a like if you have enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Together we will grow, and I'll see you guys in the next video.